I'm Elena Siradaki. I'm a professor of molecular biology at the Department of Biochemistry at the University of Oxford and at the Calvary Institute for Nanoscience Discovery. So Elena, I, as you know, I love your paper, but I'm always concerned about what the person on the street might think about what we're doing. And I wonder if you could explain the importance to that person. Well, I can only say what excites me about it. So what I find amazing about this is that it gives us an insight into how the brain works. Um, that's a very, very difficult area to get into. The brain is so complicated. There are billions of, of neurons in the brain which form trillions of connections. Those are the brain circuits. And how this works and how this is put together is not known very well. So in our paper, we've been able to understand how certain molecules work together to, to direct these cells to, to go to the right place to then form these circuits. So that gives us a really new angle into how the brain works and I think that's exciting. I found the paper reads really well as though it's quite a straightforward study but of course that's never the case. So perhaps you could explain some of the challenges that you faced. Very good question. Um, I'll highlight two things maybe. One is to do with the COVID-19 pandemic that we lacked some of the expertise that we needed to fully refine our x-ray crystallography data. There were these sugars, the sweet core as in the sweet mm -hmm. center of the molecule that was very difficult to analyze because it's a new kind of so-called interaction. Right. Um, so we had to reach out to a leading expert to help us and you know they were very busy during the pandemic yeah. we couldn't help like we couldn't go there and learn so that was a challenge I think the other challenge was that we first thought that we could um, look at how this protein these molecules work in the multiplication step of cells right. and we found that it has some interesting roles that's not in the paper It'll be future that work, soon? that's coming soon, <laughs> that but it was more challenging than we thought. There's right. very many factors involved, so we're still um, trying to understand that a bit better. Right. And Elena, if it's not too personal, I know that during this time you also had a new baby, which is of course a wonderful thing, but can you also talk a little bit about how you managed to balance your time during that period? Carol, I'm not going to lie, it was a challenge. <laughs> it was a real challenge, but it worked. So it was a success story. So um, yeah, baby is lovely and of course it's my priority now, you know, it's the apple of my eye, it's the most important thing. But um, I was still able to get, get the research going and my team have been wonderful and my collaborators, yourself included, have been wonderfully supportive so that we managed to keep the work going. And I managed to ignore what the midwives are saying, which is sleep when your baby sleeps. So I just Too much to do. yeah, I worked when my baby slept, and that way we all together managed to get this to work despite pandemic, despite child access to childcare problems, maternity leave, all that. It is possible if you have the right team. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience of being in the cafe and how it helps these big interdisciplinary programs like this? Absolutely. I, mean, I love being part of the Cavley. It's an amazing institute. Um, I think what makes it are its people. We just have such good experts in so many different disciplines which bring together knowledge but also facilities. So my lab, for example, um, loves collaborating with your lab, <laughs> doing the mass spectrometry, but also the cryo facility is just absolutely amazing. It's just uh, wonderful for doing difficult science, you know, answering those questions that you can't do on your own. That's, that's like how we help with that. Yeah.